today I'm going to teach you how to never procrastinate again. And I know it sounds a little far-fetched, but I promise you can do it. I'm April Perry from learntobecome.com. We help you create simple systems so you can do what matters most. I wanna start with a story about how I used to procrastinate everything. There's one experience back in college where my English teacher assigned me to write a memo. It felt overwhelming and I had a weekly class on Wednesdays for this English class. I waited until 4 a.m. the morning it was due to open up my assignment. And the entire week prior, I was stressed out, procrastinating, worrying about it, thinking it was going to be really hard. Can you guess how long it took me to actually write the memo? About 10 minutes. Now, the fun part is that once I learned this skill that I'm going to share with you today, I stopped procrastinating for good. It all comes down to identifying what the next action is for a project that you're working on. Now, a project is a multi-step task, something that you can't do just in one sitting. We're not talking about routines here, and we're not talking about little one-off tasks. We're talking about those bigger projects where you feel like, oh, I either need to work on a PowerPoint or create a new product, or I'm giving a speech somewhere, or putting on an event, right? Things that are a little bit bigger. So the next action, as defined by David Allen in his book, Getting Things Done, is the next specific visible activity that will lead a project toward completion. Now, I know when I first say this, you might be thinking, okay, I've been hearing this my whole life, April. <laughs> I know how to take something big and break it down into smaller steps, but I still procrastinate. Okay, but the main problem is you're most likely making one of two mistakes. Mistake number one is that instead of identifying a next action to a project, you're identifying a sub project of a project. So I'll give you an example. When I'm helping someone organize their office, they'll say, okay, my office is a huge mess and my next action is my desk. But a desk isn't a next action. That's a sub project because typically there's multiple drawers, there's tons of stuff on the desk and there's a lot of different components. So instead you would say something like, I'm going to clean this one drawer of this desk, 10 minutes, that's the next action. Mistake number two is that when you're identifying this little 10 minute task, you might identify something that seems like the next action, but you can't do it until something else happens first. That way you end up stuck. So I'll give you an example. I was teaching a class one day and a woman raised her hand and said, April, I have books all over my living room. No one can come over, it's just covered. And I said, okay, well, what do you think your next action is? And she thought for a minute and said, well, I need to move those books into the office. And I thought, great, that's a next action. You know, you and your family could just gather the books and move them to the office. And then she said, well, but I can't do that yet because first I want to order bookshelves to put into the office. And so I asked her, if I brought you my computer right now, could you open it, order bookshelves? She said, well, the bookshelves come in different sizes and I'm not sure which size I need. So first I need to measure the office walls. And I said, okay, that's great. Could you go to your office right now and measure your office walls? And she said, well, I can't find my tape measure. And then the whole room, we all just started laughing because we get it, we've been in that situation. So what she had either written on her list or as the next action in her mind was move books out of the living room. But what she needed to have written down was find, buy, or borrow a tape measure. Those are two totally different tasks. So when you're thinking about your big project, you want to ask yourself, what's my tape measure for this situation? What's that little next action that I could do right now to get this moving forward? And once you identify that, you will never procrastinate again. Because this concept has made such an impact on my life, I've dedicated more than a decade teaching people how to do the same thing. And this is part of what we call our command central, our step command central here at Learn to Become, to help people to take all of the details of life and create a system where it just flows and all the overwhelm is completely gone. So please join us here on the channel, subscribe, check out the videos that we have here, or come click the link in the description to learn more about what we do at Learn to Become to help you build your own command central, totally get out of the overwhelm, never procrastinate again, have mental clarity, and move forward on the things that will help you to wake up excited and go to bed content. 
All right, have a great day. We'll see you soon at learndobecome.com.